when Monica Lakatish won the prestigious Womax Award for Lifetime Achievement, a feature article in the specialist music magazine Songlines, written by the journalist and film director Simon Broughton, referred to her as Gypsy Queen. She was applauded by the Hungarian and international media, given the importance of the award, which is considered to be the world music equivalent of winning an Oscar. She was feted by the press, giving more than 100 interviews, her face appearing on the cover of magazines and an article published in the Hungarian National Geographic, quoted in different issues of the magazine all over the world. Personal messages of congratulations for Monica were received from dignitaries, politicians, ambassadors and by the directors of different cultural institutions. From the Hungarian Prime Minister, Monica received a personal letter. They are Monica Lakatos. As the old saying goes, talent is like a hiding stream. If its mission is to make it to the sea, it will find its way through the rock. You have come a long way since 1996, when you won the national TV competition Kimitud. Since then you have introduced the Hungarian and Gypsy folk music to many people from different countries of the world. I was delighted and proud to receive news of your Lifetime Achievement Award from one of the most important musical events of the world, the first Hungarian and first Gypsy soloist to be honored in this way. Let me congratulate you with all my heart for this prestigious recognition and wish you success and good health for your future artistic work. Respectfully, Orban Viktor, Prime Minister of Hungary. As this letter mentions, Monika Lakatos began her career with an unexpected television award in 1996. But it was as the vocalist of Romango, playing world music based on all our gypsy roots, that established Monika's national and international fame. Although she continues as the vocalist of this band, Monica launched the duet Romanimo with her husband Mihai Rostash Maji in 2017 with a repertoire of deeply moving gypsy laments. The album ranking number four in the World Music Charts Europe in 2018 and in the annual list of 1,300 different albums reaching 14th place. In contrast to the exquisite melancholy of Romanimo, Monika Lakatish launched her most recent project, Gypsy Voices, to showcase the upbeat, pulsating energy of her Ola Romani musical heritage. Marked by a strong rhythm and with the chilling harmony of center stage vocals, Gypsy Voices is a captivating format for Ola Romani music. As in Romango and Romanimo, Monika is accompanied in Gypsy Voices by her husband and musical partner, Mihai Mojirostash. Other musicians on this album include Robert Lakatos, Ildiko Kristi Balog, Andrea Balog, Jennifer Rostash, and percussionist Mate Okovac on the water jug and with the oral bass from the Ola Romani tradition. Gypsy Voices is a fluid concept, making room for other Gypsy Voices and in this way ensuring that every concert is a unique experience. This spirit of inclusion, reflected in the title of Romango's debut album, Ketani, which means together, is central to Monika Lakatos. In her frequent interviews following the Womax Award, she repeated once and again, I don't say that I received this prize, but that we received it, and I mean it as Hungarian too. This acknowledgement was given to our culture, and that refers to me as a Hungarian, not just as a Roma. Kemelaloyogat <laughs> 